Hey guys, welcome back to the United Star. Priyan and I are here to discuss and preview the West Brom game, which we are playing on Sunday at 7:30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. That is around, if my maths is good, 2 p.m. in England. Now, Manchester United's uh, form in the last five games have been two, do- two draws, two wins, and one loss. That unfortunate loss against Sheffield United and West Brom have lost four of the last five games, and they have drawn one. So I think United should uh, be more confident coming into this game. A huge, first of all, I just want to start off with a huge shout out to both uh, Shola Shortaya and Hanuman Mabry, who the manager confirmed today have been included in the first team squad, which means that if they play under 23 games, they will travel separately. But for now, they are in the first team bubble. Um, I think both Prayan and I are super happy to hear that because when we've spoken, we've already we've always spoken highly of both of them. Um, Prayan, first, I just want to deviate a little from the match tomorrow and ask you about how you're feeling um, about the FA Cup draw because obviously all of us expected Manchester City to get a really easy opponent and probably Bournemouth or Sheffield, but they've drawn to Everton. We have drawn to Leicester. Sheffield have drawn to uh, Southampton. And sorry, Bournemouth have drawn drawn to Southampton, and Chelsea have drawn to Sheffield. So, how do you look at this um, whole draw? Do you think it's easier? Yeah, it's, it's surprising, you know. I would I was I was very easily expecting playing uh, Everton or Southampton or something like that. But it's it's good. It's it's not an easy draw. I'm not saying Leicester is an easy draw. They've been playing very well. But uh, I think we've had the upper hand over Leicester uh, for the last few seasons, mm-hmm. and uh, that's not to say much. But uh, it's 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 a good draw. It's at least it's not shitty, um, and uh, I think it'll, it'll be a good game. And I think our players will be up for it. That's that's fair. You know, I'm actually kind of happy with the Sheffield draw because I th- uh, sorry the Leicester draw, which I, which kind of you know gives us a challenge coming in. And I think in the semi-finals we are going to face City. Now uh, another key takeaway, uh, which was in the press uh, manager's press conference, was that Paul Pogba is still out, but Eric Bailly has returned to training. So does that mean Eric Bailly could start uh, on Sunday, or would you still start Lindelof over him? I think Eric Bailly will play against uh, in the Europa League. Mm-hmm. I don't think he starts uh, the Premier League game. Um, and and anyway, if he's just back from injury. You can't uh, risk him right now because you would definitely need him uh, in the Europa League game. So sure. I think uh, Lindelof and Maguire will start. I don't think uh, Bayi will play. He'll be in the team, but he won't be. He'll be in the. He won't be the playing eleven. Right, right. And you know, coming, uh, you know, talking about the Europa League, I just wanted to ask you: um, Should we reserve players for the Sociedad game? Because Sociedad, you know, uh, for all those who haven't got the updates yet, we are not playing in Spain. We are actually playing at the Allianz Arena, Juventus Stadium, uh, which kind of bring, brings us close to Cristiano so Ole can have a nice chat with him, ask him if he wants to come back next season. But uh, looking at that, should we? Kind of save players for the Sociedad game because you know Europa League. I don't think there's much of a competition there. I think uh, if there is anyone, I think Arsenal. No, not even Arsenal. There are few teams which could actually stop us, and I think we could go all the way. So, do you think we should save players for the Europa League? I think uh, we have to save players. I don't think uh, Oli will give up on a trophy so early. So uh, I think he'll go all out for the uh, Europa League also and. Also, Real Sociedad have been playing some very good football this season. Uh, they've got David Silva, you know, and he's sort of the team's become very good. Um, they play some very attacking football <clears throat> and uh, very creative football. So I think uh, you can't take them very lightly. It's a very tough draw that we've got uh, Real Sociedad. One of the tougher draws that we could have gotten in the Europa League. It's unfortunate, but it's United. So uh, we we can't take them lightly, and of course, so I th- I don't. I don't think uh, we will be resting players, but definitely, you know, if we're two one or two goals or three goals up in the 60th, 70th minute, you have to take off Bruno, you have to take off uh, Rashford, you have to take off Cavani if he's playing, mm-hmm. uh, you have to take off our runners, and maybe maybe even Luke Shaw and Van Bissaka if uh, we have the chance. We need to take off these players because they'll definitely be starting. True, true. Uh, now. Coming coming back to the West Brom game, you know, for personally for me, there are two players to look out from for from West Brom, which are obviously um, 
Pereira and Ainsley Maitland Niles. Uh, I don't think the uh, anyone else in the team is good enough to kind of challenge challenge us. Would you add someone else to that list? Um, not necessarily. I think uh, West Brom have been a little poor. They've gotten some uh, mem- memorable wins this season, but they've not been that great. They've scored, I think, what eighteen goals or something mm-hmm. uh, the entire season or something like that. If I'm right, but yeah, I mean. Uh, we should get the win uh, these are the three these are the points that we shouldn't drop we have to get these points on if we have to sort of if 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 there is a title challenge which i don't really think there is but uh, to at least to keep some pressure to maintain some pressure on city we have to keep getting these points we mm-hmm. can't lose out mind you the last time we said these are easy points we should get them we lost to one <laughs> exactly so we can't take so, it like yeah so uh, it, for tomorrow's game um Personally, for me, I think Dean Henderson is going to start in the Europa League. I think that's going to be him. Uh, but you know, David Ahaya, as you said in your best eleven video, which we, which you shot with Pranam, uh, Prasham, not Pranam, uh, which you shot with Prasham, which is out. You guys should t- check it out. Uh, and I agree with you when you say that you know David Ahaya is receiving a lot of flack. Do you think that could affect the manager in any way, and he would start? Um, Henderson over David Ayer tomorrow. I don't think so. I think Oli is very headstrong that way. Um, he doesn't let unless he really feels that a player is not performing, he won't uh, just throw him out of the team. And if he does, if he does play Dean Henderson instead of De Gea, uh, it's just I think it'll be a case of favoritism because why has Maguire, why has Lindelof not been dropped then? Exactly. Um, I don't think that'll uh, make sense. So. Hmm. Uh, I I don't think Oli will drop De Gea. De Gea has been good this season, and I completely agree with you. Now, finally, coming to the lineups, what is your predicted eleven, and how do you think uh, Sam Sam Allardyce, Big Sam, as we all say, uh, is going to approach this game? Do you think he's going to play defensive, or will he try to just uh, nullify the game? Big Sam is go- he has one trick up his sleeve that is. Uh, defend, 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 and nick goal at the end. That's what they did against Liverpool. That's that's how they won against Liverpool, and that's what he's going to try to do against us. Uh, it's going to be a low block, and we need we need to get the goals in early. Otherwise, it's going to be a scrappy game. Uh, we have to uh, we have to break them down, and it's going to be difficult mm. because they have some uh, very uh, bulky defenders. But uh, just, just, just a second, did they defeat Liverpool or was it a draw? I think they defeated Liverpool one zero. Really? I oh, no, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. So uh, that, 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 that's it. That's it. Uh, so I think um, my lineup. I think De Gea starts. Uh, I'd like to see Telles play on the left because I want Luke Shaw to be completely fit for the Europa League game. Maguire, Lindelof, and Van Bissaka. Uh, mid- I think the midfield will be Fred and Metomene with Bruno up front. Rashford on the left. Uh, I think uh, Martial gets a start in this game because uh, Oli will want him to st- start. You know, now the Europa League games and the FA Cup semi-finals. We're, we're reaching that stage of the season where we need our players to start kicking into the next gear, and he'll want Martial to uh, get the goals and get the confidence. So I think he'll start Martial with uh, Greenwood on the left, on the, on the right. Right. So what I I personally think is I think David Ayer definitely starts in goal. I think your defense is spot on. I think it's going to be uh, Telles, Mag- Maguire, Lindelof, and uh, I won't be surprised if he plays with Brandon Williams at right back. Although I think uh, Aaron Van Bissaka is should get that position for Sunday. Uh, my midfield would be Fred McTominay and. I think I would still start Van der Beek because these are the games where he can get those game times, or probably McTominay, Van der Beek, and Bruno. However, um, you know, but I think these these small games are where Van der Beek should get his chance. Um, I would definitely play Rashford off the left. I just hope he gets his form back, as we all have said that you know this this season he's really not looked up to it. He's got the numbers, but he's just not. He's he's looked way off the pace. Um, and then definitely Martial because he needs that confidence. West Brom is a team where if he scores, he can get that confidence back. Um, and I think Ole will start either Mata or Dan James off the right because you know they've not played in a really long time and 
West Brom is a game where you can risk both those players because they are they're not in good form at all, right? Um, yeah, so that's my eleven. Uh, Now for the prediction, I just had to nah. correct myself. Uh, I think you were right. It was a draw. It wasn't a West yeah. Brom win. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, before I go, get into the predictions, um, remember what happened last time. I, I think this defense is quite leaky. You know, they will always concede a goal or two. So I, I'd say a three-two realistically. Uh, but I, I won't be surprised if we end up drawing this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go on Linda and say that United need a confidence boost and we need a clean sheet for sure. And we need three or four goal win margin because that's what's going to get them back on track. I'm going to go for a, a minimum three-zero. I don't think it's that's going to happen. It's definitely not going to happen. Yeah, I, mean, I hope it happens. Okay, I'm going to say this here. I will, I will give you a treat if that happens. I will give you a treat if that happens. I will give you a treat if that happens. So this time yeah. I am not going to counter you. What are your predictions <laughs> for the game? Ah, <laughs> uh, I think we should win comfortably. I think a three nil again. Um, I'm just saying it because whenever I say I say three nil, we win nine nil. So I'm going to mm-hmm. go for it again. I think three nil should be good. Yeah, imagine winning nine nil. Okay. <laughs> yeah, even even I think it's going to uh, be a win for us. I don't want to put a score in this time. I don't know. I would be proven absolutely wrong, and then have to give you a treat again. So yeah, guys, that was our that was our prediction. This is our preview. Uh, do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video, and comment down what you think is uh, a, po- a pro- possible and proper lineup for this West Brom game, and how Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can approach um, and win it. Oh, you know what? Before I end. One last question. I think this has still been in the back of the mind. Do you think Ahmad Diallo will get a cameo against West Brom? I I don't I don't think so, and I don't want him to come up also right now. I think he should take his time. Get used to England right now. He's just coming. Yeah. Just take your time. Don't rush him into the first eleven. Don't put that pressure on him. Let him ease into the first eleven. True. True. So no for me. You know what? I I wouldn't mind him getting a cameo. I think uh, you know he can he can show his skills against West Brom. Uh, so that was it, guys. Like I said before, do like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. If you do like it, please click on the thumbs up, and please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to get daily notifications from the United Star. follow us on instagram at the.unitedstar and we will see you soon